we do, and it's mainly for those gusty winds, I popped up our fire weather watch and warning map. And these are kicking in for Sunday with low dew points, dry terrain. We haven't seen much rain, much, much in the way of rain over the last several weeks. And yes, our, our dew points are low. So we're going to have those gusty winds. Uh, any spark or fire could easily get out of control. The this new, uh, this interesting uh, fire risk tracker shows just which portions of the day will be mostly prone to those gusty winds and the highest fire danger, uh, mainly as we head on into Sunday afternoon. And yes, as we move on into Monday, we're going to see an opportunity for some fire danger as well. Windy weather, once it pushes in tomorrow, uh, it is here to stay. Our current wind speeds are fairly nice, most of us out or below 15 miles per hour, but we still have pockets of gusty winds right now, mainly around Durango go in towards Santa Fe, uh, Clovis as well, down toward Carlsbad. These are mainly areas in which I've been tracking those body showers, but for most of us, it's going to be a fairly quiet evening. Maybe a little bit on the breezy side, but most of the winds will hold off until tomorrow. Right now, temperatures are comfortable. Many of us in the 70s, couple of 60s popping on through, but the clouds have socked us in. We're mainly overcast right now at the Sunport, and we will see an opportunity for so those wind gusts to continue. Already clocking a 25 mile per hour wind gust this hour at the Sunport, but again, that humidity very low and our dew points are dry. As we move on into tomorrow morning, we'll definitely see a lot of sunshine to start off with, but those winds are really going to pick up as temperatures move out of the 40s and 50s into the 70s tomorrow, uh, those wind gusts are going to come along with it. If you have an early morning start tomorrow, I think you're fine until about 9 a.m. Then you'll notice we're going to ramp up our sustained winds at or near 30 miles per hour by mid to late afternoon. That's when I think most of the gusting will occur. Those gusts could top 40 miles per hour, and we're going to continue with the gusty conditions until sunset, and then things will improve overnight as we head into Monday. But again, it's going to be temporary because Monday is going to be a windy day as well. The wind gust forecast over Overall for tomorrow, the brunt of the day to look forward to or to look out for would be northern and western portions of the state by about 4 p.m. Then in toward the evening hours, all of us get a little bit of that gustiness. Monday won't be as gusty as Sunday, but it will still be a very windy day. So here's what we have to look forward to for your Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. It will be pretty okay until about midday. Then our red flag warnings kick in in the afternoon. We could have reduced availability with some blowing dust and temperatures feeling pretty good as we hit highs near 82 degrees. So for tomorrow, four corners, not really the threat of the spotty showers for you, but we will see some overcast skies and temperatures holding in the middle 70s, but a very brisk and breezy afternoon is in store. The most, uh, what we're looking for toward the southern and the western zones will be those brisk and breezy uh, conditions. The sunshine will be there for Silver City tomorrow. Temperatures to near 80 degrees, but the winds will stick around each and every afternoon for the next several days. It's going to be a nice one for Roswell. Warm temps, 80s, even 90s coming up this week, but the winds will be a factor for most of that time period. And Raton and Las Vegas get set for those breezes to kick through as we hold with the windy conditions through the middle of next week. Santa Fe is going to make it into the 70s tomorrow, but a little bit of a cool down coming our way for Monday, and it won't be too bad here in the metro. Again, the morning will be the best portion of the day. Afternoon winds will be brisk and breezy. We're headed for a high near 80 degrees. Temperatures are running close to average for most of the week, but the windiness is going to stick around.